What's up guys, this is Andy here with Ultima Eye Device Vids, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a new city of tweak called Preference Tag 3. This tweak adds numerous useful options to the settings app, so after you've installed it, just go ahead and open up settings on your device, and the first thing you want to do is select the gear icon at the top of the screen, and then you'll be presented with the options for the tweak. Now before you actually set this tweak up, I recommend that you select the passcode and create a passcode for this tweak, because numerous options within the tweak do require a passcode. So just go ahead and create that, then you're ready to go. So now, after you've done that, basically to set up the tweak, you want to swipe to the left on any particular option in the settings app. I'm going to swipe on the notifications section here, and as you can see, then you're going to be getting a bunch of options on the side. So the first one is disable, so we'll just go ahead and start with that one. So we're just going to go ahead and select disable, then we could put in our passcode, and now, after we've done that, that particular section will be disabled. So as you can see right here, the notification section is completely inaccessible. It's grayed out. And this is great if someone's snooping around in your phone. So we can just go ahead and swipe on it again. Then we have the option to enable it if we want to get it back. So we're just going to go ahead and select enable. Then we could put in our passcode. And now we could access it as normal. So again, really great for snoopers. And we're just going to go ahead and swipe on it again. And then I'm going to show you guys the next option, which is passcode. So if we go ahead and select passcode, then of course put in our passcode. Now, as you can see, whenever I select notifications, it's going to demand that I enter my passcode. So if I get it wrong, as you can see here, it's just not going to let me in. If I get it right, it's just going to pop right in just like that. So again, very useful for people snooping around in your phone. You just have that nice passcode option set up. All right, so now we're just going to go ahead and swipe on a different option. Let's just say do not disturb. And I'm going to show you guys the next option, which is tag. So if we go ahead and select tag, we have the ability to assign a particular color to a particular setting. So we have numerous colors to choose from, as you can see here. I'm just going to go ahead and select red for do not disturb. So as you can see, it's assigned just like that. And now let's just assign something else. So let's do sounds, and we're going to assign sounds to red as well and by the way you can assign numerous colors i'm just choosing to do you know one color but let's just go ahead and select blue so as you can see right there you could you know use multiple colors as well so now if we go ahead and select the title of the settings app just where it says settings we have the ability to view all of our tags so let's just go ahead and select the red tag and as you can see there just like that it's going to show me all the settings that i tagged with red so this makes it really easy to basically get to a certain subset of settings that you configure so of course we can just open up these options very easy just like that so we're just going to go ahead and select the title again, and then we have the settings icon up here, or the settings button rather, we could just tap on it, and it's going to return us to the normal settings page just like this. So now let's just go ahead and swipe on a different option, let's just say Bluetooth, and I'll show you guys the next option, which is folders. So if we select the folder button over here, we have the ability to move particular settings into folders. So we have settings, Cydia, apps, connectivity, accessibility, and protected. It's completely up to you which folder you want to select. I'm just going to select protected. And now as you can see right there, Bluetooth will disappear from here and it's been relocated to the particular folder that we selected. And if I scroll all the way down to the bottom of the settings app, as you can see, there is going to be all the folders down here. So we have apps, connectivity, accessibility, etc. And if we just open up protected, you can see Bluetooth is present in there. So that's where it's been relocated to. Now, if we want to move it back to where it was before, we could just swipe on Bluetooth here again. Then you could select folder. And now we could just see the default option. We could just select the default option. And now it's going to go back to where it was before. So if we just go back here, we could scroll up. And as you can see, Bluetooth is exactly where it was before. So now let's just go ahead and swipe on a different option. Let's just say Wi-Fi now. And I'll show you guys the next option, which is hide. So if we select hide, like so, as you'd expect, it just hides that particular setting. Now, if you want to get it back, just select the gear icon at the top, then go to hidden, and you will see a list of all your hidden settings. As you can see, Wi-Fi is here for me. If I disable the toggle, it's going to bring it back, as you'd expect, just like that. And next up, let's just go ahead and swipe on display and brightness. And the next option is remove. And if you select remove, it's going to do the same thing. It's just going to remove that option. However, this is only temporary. So if I kill the settings app and relaunch it, it's just going to bring it right back. So I'll show you guys here. Let's just relaunch settings. So as you can see right there, it brings it right back just like that. So that's just a temporary way to remove something. Just if you quickly need to remove it for a short period of time. Now we're just going to swipe on display and brightness again. Then we have the position configuration. This allows you to rearrange the settings app. So we're just going to go ahead and select position. And now as you can see there, whichever option you swiped on, and in my case, it was display and brightness has this little drag handle and you could drag around that setting wherever you want. As you can see here, let's just move it to the top, for example. And now, as you can see, it's been moved just like that. And another great option that this tweak has is 3D touch support for the settings app. So on the new iPhone 6S and 6S Plus, we could 3D touch on a particular option, for example, general. And as you can see right there, we could peek into it, release, 
or pop into it fully by pressing harder, just like that. So this is great if you're a frequent user of the settings app. Now, unfortunately, you can't do it inside sub menus as you can see right here. It just works from the main page, but nonetheless, still really an awesome feature. But yeah, guys, that pretty much wraps up this tweak. Once again, it's called Preference Tag 3 for iOS 9. It's available for $1.99. This is the iOS 9 version of Preference Tag. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to this channel for many more videos on Cydia tweaks and jailbreak content. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.